Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we'll talk about how you can recover to a particular log sequence number uh, while performing restores uh, inside SQL Server. So before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please subscribe to my channel by hitting on the subscribe button coming below this video and uh, when you click on that button, a bell icon will appear, click on that bell icon and select all notifications to get all notifications regarding all my future videos. And there are some points to be remembered, so I would request you guys to watch video till the end to gain better clarity of the concept. And if possible, watch the video twice to gain better clarity. And I would request you guys to please perform exercises in your lab environments with uh, test databases so that you can get a better practical understanding of the concept explained. And we would also like to know your thoughts regarding our videos, so please share your comments. and. I would also like to know if you want us to make videos on any uh, specific topics. Please do mention about that in the comments. And we would love to hear stories regarding any real situations where you have practically applied my stuff uh, used in these videos. And let's come back to a topic. So it's how to recover to a log sequence number. So let's discuss a little bit about the log sequence numbers. So what are log, log sequence numbers? These numbers are used to internally by SQL Server during restore sequence to track the point in time to which the data has been restored. And when the backup is restored, the data is restored to LSN corresponding to the point at which the backup was taken, generally. We can restore it to a specific LSN as well. This is what I will show you in the video. So let's go back to SQL Server so the database here we will be using Northwind database. So I prepared a file for this uh, practical where we have a series of uh, some SQL commands. So the backup file, I already have a backup file. In this backup file, I have a full database backup. Even in fact, I would say there are two full database backups and multiple transaction log backups. So let me show you the sequence. So if I use this command restore header only, this just only populates the information out of this uh, file, database backup file. So you see, uh, there's a column for backup type. So backup type one is the full database backup. Any backup types to are the transaction log backups. Again, this is the full database backup and these are transaction log backups. And there is a file position for these uh, as we are only using a single file and we have taken all the backups inside the single file, multiple full database backups and multiple log backups. So this is the position of each and every backup. So this can be denoted by file, file number. These are file numbers. And let's take a look. So it also mentions the dates when the backups were taken. Few, few are taken today, some were taken earlier. So what we will do, we will do a restore till a specific LSN point. So each and every backup has the starting LSN point and the ending LSN point. So you see each backup has the starting and last LSNs. So now um, before we perform any restore operations using the LSN numbers, I need to back up the tail of the log. So let's do that. And while backing up the log, tail of the log you need to put the database in row, no recovery mode or in recovering mode. So let's do that. Let's take an additional log backup which will be backup position 8. Uh, let's do that and so the database is in use by session so let's take it to master and then again run this command. So yeah we have successfully taken backup uh, tail log backup and if we refresh the databases it's in restoring mode due to this keyword no recovery we have used here. So this step is done and if we again check the restore header only we will see eight entries now. So this is the tail of the log backup we have just taken and let's, let's scroll it little upwards. Uh, not required I think this much is enough. So we have total of eight backups in here denoted by file numbers and the tail of log backup is done now what we will do we will do a restore with file equals one as this backup set contain multiple files we need to specify the file number so i'm restoring it till position one 
and I'm restoring a full database backup now. So I need to mention file number, so which is pertaining to this position. So I'm still making it no recovery because I will restore one more log backup after that before we fully recover the database. So we will restore these two files, but in second file, I will restore it to a specific LSN number. So let's fully restore the first file. I mentioned file one and I mentioned no recovery because I do not want to fully recover the database uh, while doing restore of the full database backup. So let's run this command. So execute it. Now the database is, the full database backup is restored, but the database is still in restoring mode but due to no recovery keyword. Now what I will do, I will restore to a specific log sequence number. So let's check the header only. So I have restored this file at position one. Now I will take file at position two. So here the last lesson mentioned for this file is this. Four after that six times zero, two, two, eight, four, five times zero and one. So I'm restoring it a little bit before than that. Instead of uh, four, I will take uh, 3s number here. So a little bit before this lesson point. So that that is what I've mentioned here. So I will perform a recovery using file two. Here I'm using recovery keyword instead of no recovery because I want to fully recover the database after this uh, file set is uh, restored and to a specific LSN number, which is denoted by stop at mark. You need to specify stop, stop, stop at mark and you need to specify the LSN number uh, at which you want to restore by uh, this notation. And uh, there's also another keyword stop before mark so which can be uh, used to mention the LSN number. The restore will just stop one LSN before that mark or the LSN number which you give here. But we are stopping at uh, a particular LSN mark. So let's do this. So what I'm doing, earlier I have restored a database. Now I'm restoring a log against the Northwind database. So this is a log backup, so type two, right? So mention log uh, and I'm restoring it from a disk and uh, I'm stopping in mark, which is the LSN number, a uh, little bit before than this number. And file specified, file is specified. We are using the second file and we are doing a full recovery. So let's perform a restore. So database is restored successfully. Now, if you refresh the database, it, it is fully online and uh, queries can be executed against this database so i hope you uh, i hope that you got the lesson concept and uh, and i also hope that you also like this video if you really like this video please click on the like button and do share your comments with us share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon select all bell notifications to get notifications regarding any future videos and do let us know if you would like us to make videos on any particular topic, we will try to make them. And I thank you so much for your time on this video uh, during this day. And you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.